Well, hey everyone, Jess here at Arrow Jam Farms. Welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to talk about how I built my DIY solar electric fence charger. And then I'm going to do some modifications and hopefully make it better. So stick around. Well, hey y'all, uh, like I said, here's uh, my DIY solar electric fence charger. Now I come with a, with a box style and something that you'd see uh, from Cyclops or uh, is that Valley Fence Supply? Or... I'll put a link down in the description. You can kind of see how I modeled this after. Uh, it works okay. It could be better. And uh, that's another point of the video today is I'm going to do some modifications to it. For now, I just set it on the ground on a couple of blocks. But I did... Put a bracket in the back to where I could mount it on a 4x4 post if I wanted to. As you can see, I got the lid hinged. One thing I don't like about this design is uh, sometimes it can get a little bit of moisture in here. The way I made this flat shelf. Uh, I kind of was worried about that when I built it. And even though I did put some weather stripping along the edges, it does get a little bit of moisture in there still so that's that's one thing i'm going to do to modify it got the battery here or a solar charge controller which is important if you're going to set up one of these that's one of the main components you're going to need it basically just keeps the solar panel from overcharging your battery and uh messing your battery up and right now i have it uh set up with the parmac magnum 12. this is i think about a three joule uh, fence charger I also have a Patriot P30 that I can put in here and also a Cyclops uh, ch Champ or Stallion I can't remember it's the 5 Jewel and that is one thing I like about this setup depending on the fence or the location or you know what I'm needing out of the fence I can swap out these 12 volt chargers and uh, stick them in here to kind of meet the situation as it needs so one reason I'm modifying this is that uh, with, with a couple of the other chargers, they seem to pull pull more juice. And this battery, eventually it will go down. I have to pull this out and charge it. Uh, I don't know. I haven't had the Magnum 12 in here very long, so I'm trying it out. But I do have a bigger solar panel. When I built this, I already had the solar panel. So I just kind of made it work with what I had. I knew it was going to be close on being uh, big enough wattage wise to be able to keep this battery charged with the size fence chargers that I was putting in here. It turns out it does it does make it last longer than if it was just a battery by itself but eventually it will it will run down enough that I'll have to pull that battery out and charge it. So that is one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try to cut this angle. I'm, uh, I'm going to get a straight edge and cut this straight back to that back corner so that we don't have a flat shelf on the top and the other thing is is I'm gonna I've got a bigger solar panel it's a 50 watt panel I think this one is a 30 watt and I'm gonna use that panel as my lid so there won't be we'll see I'm my plan is to do away with this board back here for the door and just have a solar panel act as the, the door and I still have to figure out how I'm gonna hinge that how I'm gonna tie it together but uh We'll, we'll make it work.
you could tell by the video, but uh, I don't know what I was thinking. Uh, I originally seemed like a test fit that solar panel one time, and it was going to cover this whole box. So I was going to plan on doing away with this top. Well, that's not the case, so I had to had to switch gears midstream there and go ahead and cut off some more uh, and get these these sides a little straighter. And then went ahead and stuck the, the lid back on, got the latches mounted, and then I'll work on getting the uh, panel mounted to the top here. Uh, first I'm going to get a, a pretty good size hole cut because this has, this new panel has the actual solar panel connectors on it, the uh, MC4 style. So I bought a little, some a little adapters, uh, little pigtails to um plug in here and then plug into the charge controller. Alright, we got it wired up. Uh, I'm going to clean the battery connections a little bit because they're, they're a little corroded. So uh, you want to make sure and keep those clean so your battery has a good connection. Got the panel on there. So this is supposed to be a 50 watt. The old one was a 30 watt. And so I think I may throw the champ on there, which is a 5 joule output. When you're looking at chargers, this uh, output joules is the one you really want to pay attention to. Your stored energy is always going to be a little bit higher, but the output is actually what's being delivered to your fence. I think this is a three joule, which is similar to the Parmac, but the Parmac is actually a lower voltage on the fence. This is a pretty high voltage. This will be, I think I've seen it eight to 9,000, somewhere around there, and the same with the Cyclops. But like I said, this is a five joule. It's going to drain the battery a little faster, so I think as a test, I'm going to throw this one on there, and we'll see how it does. And then I've always got this uh, Patriot option. One thing I like about the Patriot is that it can be 12-volt uh, DC, or I have a, it came with an adapter that will let you plug it into 110-volt into the wall. So I may rig something up at the house and use this one plugged into the 110. And then I'll have the option of the Cyclops and the Parmac to swap in and out of this solar DIY solar uh, box as I need it depending on the situation alright guys we got it hooked up take a look in here now the Cyclops I'm ever ha actually having to lay down on the bottom just because my, my screws are a little bit too high and the Cyclops is really thick so it, uh, it stands out a little bit too far I'll, I'll come and put another set of screws down here and that way I can set it on that back side, but this will work fine. Uh, it's still protected. Still was able to get the hot and ground wires up to the bottom. So on 13.9 on the battery, I'm sure it's because it's, it's charging it. Around 14.3 volts on the uh, solar panel. 
and that I'm pretty sure these actually put out more than that but that is the regulated voltage uh, once it comes into the controller so yeah everything working good we got the Cyclops uh, clicking and I think this will be a pretty good test and just for the heck of it I got my force tester here Let's see what the voltage is I don't know if that's coming across on camera, but showing about 7k right now. Showing to have a little bit of draw on the fence, so I might actually have a weed or a stick or something touching it. So I'm gonna I'll drive around here and take a look, because that voltage is usually uh, upwards of eight, eight thousand, somewhere around there. But six is plenty. Uh, but it's kind of all over the place, so I'm gonna go take a look and see what I can find. More or less, I've got. Or, uh, more than likely I've got something laying on the fence somewhere well, alright guys I think that about wraps this video up thanks for hanging with us uh, if uh, you enjoyed this video at all give it a big thumbs up check out some of our other videos and we'll see you on the next one